starting straight off, I'm just coming home from a record fair in Utrecht, a very big one in the Jaarbeurs. Just went there, but when I came back, I thought to be smart, smart and cheap and uh, to go to, with, with the train. So I went with the bike to the station and when I came back, bike gone. So I bought some very expensive stuff and also my bike is gone. So that's not so fine, but okay, nothing to do about it. First, uh, you see here the Porcupine Tree anesthetized. You see here the four albums and the booklet. But not the cover, not the box around it. So um, it's 4LP booklet, no box. And, and I was a bit, a little bit in doubt because yes, it's nice to have the box also, but it's very expensive. And this one was cheap. So I have the vinyl now and uh, I will open it up. The vinyl now and uh, maybe in the future, who knows? But uh, I can get, like, get a hand on the, on the box. So let's see what's uh, inside it. I also have the CD version of this, but this is also on Tone Float. I bought it at Tone Float Shop, Crazy Diamond. So let's see what's inside this nice packaging. Um, this is the booklet. So I don't know if it's different from, I don't think so, from the CD version. I'll just let you show you the, the, the photographs, I think of Lasso Oil, especially. 2008, this, uh, this one. I went to both concerts in Tilburg. It was very nice. I uh, only had a couple of songs I didn't like, and one of them is Sever. And we just went on holiday and listened to it again, and I thought, well, oh, no, that's not the song I like. On the DVD from this version, I see myself. So it's very nice. So this is the booklet. And these are the albums. This is uh, album one with one and two. I heard someone on the internet say this is the first time I have anesthetized on uh, a vinyl, and this is of course a live version. I don't know if it's oh, it has also printed inner sleeves. So I'll go to it very fast and maybe only let you see one vinyl because I think the other vinyl is with others. On the numbers on it, of course, but maybe the same, maybe not a color. But it's the first album of four. So, thick packaging. Second, this is the outside of uh, 013, No Death in Tilburg. Also, some CDs on the back side. It's a very nice stage in Tilburg. Show the end sleeves. With, uh, a picture from the screen. So they, were, they were on. Yes, and I don't open it because it says three and four, so I won't bother you. Sentimental, way out of here, sleep together, what happens now? Normal. So, some numbers from uh, Neil Recurring, also very nice. Five or six with uh, Dark Matter, very nice song, of course. Drown with me, cheating the polygraph, Half Light and Sever. And Sever, I don't like that much, just like Halo. The start of Halo is beautiful, but afterwards it doesn't. This looks like the same picture, but I don't know. It's, it is the same picture, strange. I don't know if that's. If that's Good, I'm not. And the last one. With Prodigal, Wedding Nails, Strip the Soul, Sleep of No Dreaming, Halo and Outro. This is the keyboard. And some, well, I don't know. Very strange picture of the ceiling, I think. That's the first uh, thing I bought from uh, Porcupine Tree. Today I bought another one, very expensive box from Steve Wilson. It isn't in my position yet. Uh, I get it by post. So I bought today, after long doubt, after maybe a year of doubt, I bought this one. This is in the booklet. It's the 
on a 20 page book with 4 10 inches black vinyl 1000 copies from 2008 also I bought this one today oh. so for me a, a grill that I want to have not for the music especially but for the packaging and for the fan for 4x10 for inch it uh, goes on this so for, for some uh, nice money but uh, it still floats 50 so I uh, I'm very happy to bought this one Maybe next video I'll show you how the box looks like, but maybe have some buy some gloves. I saw so one guy who did it with, with the box and he had some gloves on and I thought, what is he, what is he doing? But yeah, the box is expensive and I see a difference because with uh, someone who has an, uh, an, an edition sealed and not sealed and it's 50 euros less when it's not sealed, so you have to be very careful with some. Records. This is uh, from Sigovos. Nice Icelandic band. I've seen it twice live. Very nice band. Very nice. Uh, I don't know if, if I have this one. I have some CDs from them. No vinyl. So this is, this is the vinyl also. This booklet I saw. I don't want to exhaust you with the text on it because I don't speak Icelandic. But I'm very uh, happy to find this one for a nice price. A booklet with. 200 pages uh, of photographs, some film. Looks like uh, the Radiohead, the Munche Pool, uh, where also was a, a bit of the, the film in the packaging, and here also. I'll leave it out because this is number, oh, yeah, number one, uh, 80,897, so it's very limited edition, but I don't know if it's just a, <laughs> that is the sign of the, how many copies there are. Nice. I won't sh show you all the pictures of this one. I like Iceland. I've been there once. So this, uh, I don't know, uh, Johnsy, of course. I won't we'll say, I don't know his name now. Very nice uh, land to, uh, to visit. Very, very nice. I think the most beautiful land I visited in my life. And these are the, the CD. It's, for, it's on Kronk, I think, on the Kronk label, with the CD itself. And there's a DVD in it. With some footage, two films by Nick Abrams. Abrams, don't know him. But Seagulls is a nice band to check out. I saw them first at the pre-concert at Radiohead. Con Radiohead, very nice. But there's a lot of nice music in the world. So this is a nice booklet. I also bought this one, Primus. I like the funky bass playing from uh, Le 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 I don't know his name also. Les, he says here, Les plays six strings, fatness bass, casual vocals. So Primus, like Clay Paul, I think. But uh, miscellaneous debris, it's all uh, our covers from other bands. Intruder from Peter Gabriel, Making Plans for Nigel, XTC. Sinister Exaggerator, The Residence, and some from the meters, and Have a Cigar by Roger Waters. I also have some footage where they played it live. Have a cigar. I think very nice uh, band Primus. I also saw them twice. Very nice, funky label. I'm curious how they sound. I think it's a 180 grams. Final. So, something to look forward to. Oh, there's something here, I think, a uh, download card maybe. Yes, this is a download card. I will show you. So, another box I bought at last. I bought this one, Jitro Tull. Aqualung, I don't know much about Jitro Tull. I know that Stephen Wilson, oh, the box a bit damaged. I saw that uh, Stephen Wilson did also some things uh, and that's why I listened to it maybe once. I never listened to it often. 
This is a nice box with uh, an album, a DVD, Blu-ray and CD. So very uh, nice thing for a nice price at the, at the fair. This is the album, the vinyl. Gatefold. Oh. And in the vinyl I see, I didn't know because I didn't prepare, but I'll let you see the vinyl first. The vinyl chrysalis. It's a remastered version. And in the album cover there are also the Let's see if there is nothing in there. Sometimes I forget to look. But there's also let's see. This is the CD. And this is the DVD. 5.1, and I think Stephen Wilson is a master in uh, making 5.1. Sounds very good. This is the Aqualon CD2. Some alternative takes, I think. Early version, only unreleased, etc. And the last one has to be the Blu ray, so very nice. A Blu ray, so I can play it on my. Uh, Sons PlayStation. So that was the album. This is the back side. And Aqualong is of course known by the most of the people I think, except for me. And this is the booklet. What's coming? It's a 14th anniversary collector's edition. With the band I think uh, how does you call? Still touring, Anderson, I think. Uh, not that good. I'm getting old to know all the names. So some photographs and some text from, and also the lyrics from the songs. So very nice. the noise name Ian Anderson no I was close Ian Anderson Clive Bunker Martin Bear John Evan Evan and Jeffrey Hammond Hammond so that's a nice name Hammond Hammond so very nice box and I uh, eager to listen to it also so let's put it back where it belongs I thought that part I had a nice copy of it. This is probably a little bit damaged. I also saw this one. It's an Italian prog rock. Maxophone, I think it's called. It's from a record store day and it was cheap, I think. Well, let's take it. It's in silver vinyl. Two songs on it. Italian prog rock. I don't know the band at all. But Italian prog rock is good, normally. So it's Lisola. 10 inch and uh, this is the vinyl very nice silver vinyl and nice I don't know if it's nice I think I like transparent vinyl more than this color oh I'm not done yet I see I also bought this what I want to have for a long time, I bought this one from Tangerine Dream. The first one, Electronic Meditation. Uh, I wanted to have it because Klaus Schulz is on it. I have some records from Klaus Schulz. And Tangerine Dream is also very well known, but this is the only one album with the two together. Edgar Freuse and Klaus Schulz and Konrad Schnitzler are all playing. This is of course a, a, a re-release because the official albums, the first pressing, are very expensive. Front, gatefold.
Call the rock, cold smoke. Oh, that's brain, brain thing. Some Deutsch and German, German and English in here. This is the back side. Mach das Ohr auf. Let your ear listen. Maybe it's that's a good translation. Open your ear. Open your ears. Let your eyes. Very nice label normally. This is uh, personnel you see at Kaffrees Glas Schulze Kolle Schnitzel. The Schnitzler with Jimmy Jackson organ. And some text. And the vinyl. This is not on the ore label. I see it's on the ore label, but not the, the way the ore looks like. It's another a label. And I hope that you know what I mean. 45 RPM. So I'm curious. Let's the next one I bought Spato. I went to the Akama uh, stand and uh, they have very nice uh, nice reissues also Akama. You see here the original albums from 1970. This is in the, in the release from 2002. They had a lot of uh, reissues and I was in doubt whether to buy Porcupine Tree or whether to buy eight or nine releases. I thought, well, I have to have the Porcupine Tree and the others I don't need to have. But that's the way collectors not do, properly do not think. Very nice cover, I think. I don't know any of the players. Just my gut feeling I bought this one and uh, of course Nico Malcolm must have shown him to me so let's see this is the back side I said the one cover